go way back with each other. The former tag team champions have known each other since 2005. They even went to the same high school but never spoke and had a secret rivalry with each other. But being wrestling fans is what really brought them together. Peyton and Billy spoke to each other for the first time back when Peyton had joined PWA and Billy said it felt like she had just discovered her soulmate. They had everything in common and they both said it felt like sparks and fireworks were going off between the two of them. Peyton said that there are a lot of tag teams that call themselves best friends, but they're nowhere near the level of friendship that Billy and Peyton have created over the past 15 years. Peyton even claimed that she had no interest in single titles and just wanted to be together with her best friend, Billy Kay, winning tag team titles. The Iconics made their main roster debut in April of 2018. It was an emotional moment for them to debut side by side after the entire journey they had been through together. The Iconics had one of their biggest moments in the fall of 2018 where WWE had a special live show in their hometown of Australia. The Iconics picked up the win with all their family members right at ringside, making it a very emotional win for the tag team. The Iconics then had their next big moment at WrestleMania 35 by winning the tag team championships. That was no doubt the biggest night in their pro careers. WWE even had plans to put the Iconics up against the Bella Twins in a feud for the women's tag titles and that was extremely close to happening until Nikki Bella was injured before the Bellas had made their returns. It would have been a really good feud with the Bellas that could have really brought out the best of the Iconics. Sure, the Bellas are no longer the top women in the division, but they have established such a huge legacy in the WWE that a win over them could have really pushed the Iconics even more over the top. But ever since losing the titles a few months after that, the Iconics have been involved in absolutely no storylines at all. Now, Peyton Royce was given some time off in mid-2019 for her wedding and honeymoon with AEW's Sean Spears. Peyton was given several weeks off and was even spotted partying in Vegas. But once she was back on the road with WWE, they still had no plans of the team. As of this moment, the Iconics have been off of television since November 2019, and there's been no signs of them ever since. According to new reports, something big could be coming up for Peyton and Billy. Reports claim that WWE is currently discussing the possibility of repackaging the Iconics with a new look and new persona. The Iconics have always been the kind of cocky heels that make fun of their opponents. So if WWE wants to switch their characters up from that, what direction could they take them in? There are a few directions that quickly come to mind. The first one is the obvious dark persona. The whole idea and theory of dark characters is probably the most overused idea going on right now. But in the Iconics case, it could make sense. They can come out more serious than ever before. No more cracking jokes about opponents, no more of the goofy poses, just absolute seriousness and a dominant heel team in the women's division. Just hearing that a superstar is getting repackaged is exciting because there's just so much possibilities of how the characters can turn out. Another little rumor and question that started going around was if Peyton Royce would leave WWE Peyton's husband has of course left the WWE and is now making a name for himself in AEW, so some fans have wondered if that would sway Peyton into leaving the WWE as well. Peyton has been posting some pictures to her Instagram with quotes such as, freedom is a state of mind, and fans were really reaching asking if freedom meant leaving the WWE. But Peyton addressed this matter and said that she spoke with her husband about him leaving for AEW while she stays with WWE, and it was something they both agreed on. They aren't the only WWE and AEW couple that exist. Renee Young and John Moxley, Adam Cole and Britt Baker are also examples of other couples that are working for different companies. So Peyton isn't going anywhere, but telling by her comments of always being by Billy's side, it doesn't look like a singles run could be coming for the Iconics either. 
They will be returning together, we just don't know what direction WWE will take this reported package of the Iconics. What are your thoughts on WWE considering changing up the Iconics? And what are some of your ideas for Peyton Royce and Billy Kay? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed these kind of videos. Thanks for watching, guys.